Hello everyone. In this short lecture, I am going to demonstrate how to use the Power Wall Simulator to study the steady state stability limit of a hydro power station which supplies power to an infinite bus through double transmission line with the help of a step up transformer. Here this figure shows the model of our problem. Here we are taking a hydro power plant which supplies power to the infinite bus at the voltage of 138 kilovolt. Here this generator generates the voltage at 11 kilovolt and it is stepped up to 138 kilovolt and it is transmitted to the infinite bus through double transmission line and also we connect a load at the infinite bus to verify our problem. Here in this problem we are going to identify how much the maximum power that can be generated and supplied to the infinite bus by a power plant which is connected at the source end. Here we are connecting a hydro power plant and we are going to identify the angle at which the system becomes a blackout or the system becomes unstable and it loses its synchronism. Figure shows the power angle curve of a power system. The power angle varies from 0 to 180 degree. At 90 degree, the system reaches the maximum limit P max. Now we verify this using power world simulator. The governing equations are given by P equal to EV by X sin 90. 90 is the maximum power at which the maximum power can be transmitted. E is the voltage at the generator end. V is the voltage at the infinite bus. X is the transfer reactance. Before we verify the problem using power world simulator, let me solve a numerical example. It is assumed that the voltage at the infinite bus and the generator end is 1 per unit. The transfer reactance which is connected between the source and the load end it is equal to 0 0.85, 0 0.5 for transformer and 0.7 for each double transmission line and the maximum power it is transmitted it is equal to 1.176 per unit as per the base MVA 100 MVA uh, the maximum power transmitted is 117.64 megawatt up to 117.6 megawatt the hydro power station supplies power to the infinite bus after that 1.117.6 megawatt the system reaches the unstable state and it becomes blackout now we verify the model using power world simulator. Go to file, choose new case, go to draw, network, bus. In this model we are using three different buses. The first bus is generator bus which is operating at 11 kilovolt. Bus 2 and 3 between these two bus a double transmission line is connected which is operating at 138 kilovolt now between these two buses a transmission line is connected having a reactance of 0 0.7 per unit it is asking do you want to connect another transmission line between the same bus give yes same value 0 0.7 per unit now we connect a transformer between bus 1 and 2 having a reactance of 0 0.5 now we connect a generator at bus 1 which is a hydro generator which supplies power to the infinite bus
now we connect another generator at the infinite bus and a load at the infinite bus now we have to find what is the power which is flowing in the double transmission line and what is the bus voltages and the bus angle and bus voltage at the infinite bus which is always a fixed and constant one usually we take this this infinite bus as the reference bus which is having a fixed voltage and a frequency now we have to model this infinite bus as a the slack bus bus 3 as a infinite bus go to option choose power system model model the power flow slack bus as infinite bus now we can run our model here i want to vary 10 megawatt per most click so we can run the model so here this generator supply 0 megawatt but load it is connected is 10 megawatt it is supplied by the infinite bus infinite bus giving 10 megawatt to the load now we increase the generation 10 megawatt now the hydro power plant supplies the load infinite bus is zero now we can increase 10 20 30 40 50 here we can see the power from the hydro power plant which goes to the infinite bus and also to the load here we can identify the power it is flowing in each line is 25 25 megawatt here the voltage is 1 per unit angle is 0 here 1 per unit and 25.15 degree this is the angle between the source and the load end the phase angle here is 25 here it is 0 the power angle it is equal to 25.15 degree the generator which supplies is plus 50 megawatt the infinite bus which receives the power is minus 40 so minus 40 plus 10 it is 50 megawatt now we can increase the power we can check out the angle also increasing the power angle up to 110 the system is stable now I want to increase the load 10 megawatt per most click I'm increasing the load here you can identify 110 megawatt is generated 
90 is supplied to the load and 20 to the infinite bus. You can check here up to 160. For 160 megawatt load, 110 from the generator and 50 from the infinite bus. So up to as per our calculation, 117 is our steady state stability limit. So if I increase, now I have to increase the power 1 1 megawatt per mouse click. So 111, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, up to 117, the system is stable. If I go more than 117, the system becomes unstable. This concludes that if we supply more than the steady state stability limit, the system reaches unstable state. It is not the meaning that we have to supply up to 90. We always prefer to supply the power to any load or infinite bus within the angle of 0 to 45 degree, not more than that 45 degree. Here, we this uh, model illustrates and demonstrates that's that how much the maximum power that we can uh, supply. Uh, practically, we won't supply this much power uh, at the angle of 90 degree to any load. Now we can run one more time. You can see here up to 117. We can note down the angle also 84.02. If I increase the load further, that uh, load is uh, supplied by the infinite bus, not by the generator. If I go more than this point, 117, the system becomes unstable and also it reaches that 90 degree. Here this table shows the solution of the above problem. The column 1 indicates the power angle which varies from 25.15 to maximum of 90 degree up to 80.42. From this table we can understand the power is uh, stable, the system is stable, it supplies power to the infinite bus and also to the load. The power generated by the hydro power plant is recorded in column 2, power supplied to the infinite bus in column 3, power supplied to the load is 30 megawatt. We are we assume that a load uh, which we connected at the infinite bus is a constant load of 30 megawatt at a 25.15 degree power angle. The generator generates the hydro power of 50 megawatt in which 50 megawatt uh, 30 megawatt is supplied to the load and 20 is the remaining power supply to the infinite bus here it indicates the system is stable up to the power of 116 megawatt after that uh, at the angle of 90 degree the system reaches unstable state according to the power angle curve the maximum power we can that is uh, maximum power that we can generate by any generator and supplies to the infinite bus is up to 90 degree and this uh, concludes that uh, that 90 degree is the steady state stability limit as up to that 90 not not 90 less than 90 it is stable after and above at uh, 90 or above 90 the system becomes unstable